welcome to the channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. Uh, make sure you like this video at the end of it if you have enjoyed watching me make this soap. So, real quick before we get started, I'll let you guys know what I have here. Um, we are using our Workshop Heritage mold for the first time. This is the double tall and skinny mold. So, we'll see if I have um, the right batch size, if I did all my math right. We'll see. I do have an extra mold sit on the side ready to go just in case. So anyways, in this bucket here, I have my liquid oils mixed with the um, oats. And then I also have, uh, da, 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 what else? Um, the goat milk is in here as well. And then I also have sodium lactate just because this is a brand new mold and I want to make sure that it comes out easily. Here is our hard oils all melted down, and here I do have the honey as well. So, I'm going to get these two together, and then I'm going to add our lye solution in here, and then we'll pour off to our different colors. Before I add our lye solution, I'm going to mix up these oils and additives just to make sure everything's um, just kind of incorporated and nothing has settled at the bottom. Alright, so in goes our lye solution here. Alright, so I'm going to mix just to emulsion. Alright, my next step is adding our fragrance oil. Um, I am going to go ahead and add it to the batch before mixing the colors just to make sure that my entire batch has the correct percentage of fragrance um, because I do plan to pour off different amounts into each of my containers that I color in. This fragrance will discolor to a brown, but it behaves wonderfully. Now, I do have honey and the milk in here, as well as the uh, colloidal oats. So, with that being said, our batter could thicken up if it wanted to, because I have those extra things in there that will absorb the oils. Whoops! That's some oil shooting out here. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm sitting here eyeballing it, it definitely looks like it's too much for the mold. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I did my math like three times. I don't know. I'm just having a bad math day. Oh, but it smells wonderful. Mmm. Alright. So I'm going to use my spatula and make sure I have all around the edges at the bottom. Make sure everything has been stirred in properly. I don't have anybody sitting off in a corner somewhere by itself. Oh, this is so nice. All right. So I'm going to pour off into our little containers. I'm going to have a lot of white here. Okay. 
This will be our light tan beige color. I'm going to have our darker brown. If the mica looks funny in the container, it's because I have water and oil in there mixed with it. So it's kind of clumpy and doesn't exactly look pleasing. Now it's time to mix our colors. All right, so what I have here is what looks like honeycomb, hopefully, and it's going to be on the sides of our mold, and hopefully the soap will kind of push it out. It's okay if we don't totally see this on the whole side of the soap. If it's just kind of peekaboo, that would be lovely. That's what I'm going for. So here is my new mold. I'm so excited to use this. All right. And if the soap doesn't push these sides out, then I can always use my skewer and kind of make sure it goes to the side here. So this is going to be the um, natural part of the soap. It's not colored. Um, I've, I'm really interested in seeing what color the fragrance oil will turn my soap. Um, if it doesn't have mica in it. I didn't do this. Um, I didn't leave any part of the batch uncolored the last time I used this fragrance. So we're just going to go in this way. And it looks like it didn't push out my sides, so I'm just going to do that myself. Let's see. Okay. Alright, oops, hopefully that one didn't come too much over. Alright, the next one. Kind of, a little more thin. It's a little more ploppy than I wanted. But it did kind of mix a lot. do the math right.
We are back two and a half days later to unmold our OMH batch of soap using our Workshop Heritage um, Tall and Skinny Pro Soaper Double Mold. So I'm going to slide this piece out here. I meant to do this way before now, but we've had some things come up to where I could not unmold until today. So I'm actually having to take a forced vacation right now. I'm supposed to be home resting for three days. <laughs> so this is day one and I'm already bored. We're only a couple hours into the morning and I'm just like, I can't take it. I have stuff to do. I gotta get stuff done. So I'm just gonna try to take it a little easier on myself today. So I took this piece out, that way this will slide easily out of the mold, out of the wooden part. Ooh, okay, that was nice. So I'll just put this back in here and set this aside. All right, so. I guess I'll start by, well, we'll pull the sides away from the loaf here. Okay. That's looking good in here there. Looks like that side turned out exactly how I wanted it to. And this side as well. So perfect. So I'm just going to continue to unmold and we'll get started splitting this loaf. 